Well, one of the things that President Obama does not have is love on Capitol Hill from the Republicans. Now, uh, and also, I don't agree with some of my colleagues here who says that the president is, quote, mired in scandal. But I will say this. The Republicans on Capitol Hill have gone out of their way to take Benghazi and get to Hillary Clinton. That's what it's all about. Simple as that. But on my side, they've also stepped over the line. And I want to show you a clip of uh, Chris Matthews and, and, uh, uh, and, and, and Al Sharpton discussing the race issue and this, on the issue, I believe, of the whole set of scandals. They can't stand the idea that no. he's president. And a piece of it is racism. Not that somebody in one racial group doesn't like somebody in another racial group. So what? It's the sense that the white race must rule. That's what racism is. And they can't stand the idea that a man who's not white is president. That is real. You take away everything and, and yeah. that because that's what white supremacy is. And that's not calling all of them that. Jeez. Well, it certainly isn't calling all of them that, but it these implications it is, and that's the problem here. Look, the last thing, this, this, Chris, with all due respect, uh, my friend, this, this IRS scandal is a serious political problem. It is not a race problem. It has something to do with the political philosophy of certain groups. And so to bring that out and to use that as an entire indictment of people who are raising questions about this and saying this is about race, I think it's going a tad too far here. Not a tad, a mile too far. And Al, you know better than that. We cannot assume everybody in the Tea Party is racist by a long shot. And that's the implication, and it's a bad one. That's no, terrible. So that, that was racist. Chris yeah. Matthews was more racist than, than anything I've heard anywhere. Um, it's not race. It, 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 let's just you know, fast forward to 2016, if Hillary Clinton's uh, president, and the same stuff goes on. Yeah. I'll be just as outraged about her doing that same stuff. Does that, or am I going to be uh, a, a, a misogynist? Is that what it's going to be if I'm against that? Maybe. It's the policy. It's, it's the called failure. Misuse. It's the, the <laughs> breakdown of, of um, transparency, communication, everything. People are dead. Well, Benghazi it, matters because yeah, people yeah, are dead, not because President Obama is but, but I, And I think a good chunk of Republicans are playing it for politics, but that doesn't excuse doing this. Dana, what do you think about Matthews? You? Oh, I just made this joke, and it was so funny, and nobody heard it. I heard it. I heard, I heard it. it. Greg giggled. <laughs> um, you can count that, on Greg I can't, for okay, giggle. You know what he says? They can't stand, and he yelled. I can't even do the imitation. I can't stand his voice. <laughs> It drives me insane. No wonder nobody watches. I think the tingle up his leg went straight. To it's the also brain. it just it, because it, he's it, making no. Julian sense. Bond, remember when he said that the um, Tea Party is like the Taliban? And Alan Combs asked him, like, well, why? And he says, well, you know, they're not they're against women's rights. Like, well, like what? And he can't answer. He's just like, well, they're just like the Taliban. And it becomes so preposterous that no wonder people turn other pla to other places to find out their news because it, you're not going to get it from there. That's, uh, well, now that you mentioned the Julian Bond uh, cut with Alan Combs, let's, can we listen to that for a second? They're hostile to women's rights. So is the Taliban. They're in, enraptured by a sort of uh, Stalinist religion. I'm going to get in trouble, real trouble about this, <laughs> uh, you know, in, in which they obey religious dogma that ordinary Christians don't obey. Uh, in many ways, they're much, very much like the Taliban. So you don't think these are true Christians if they're members of the uh, Tea Party? I think Party. these are cafeteria Christians. They pick one from uh, column, a. column A, one from column B, one from column C. Uh, Julian, I suggest to you that, that you know, wow. trying, trying to discern people's Christianity and their level and extent of commitment to Christianity is a dangerous place to be, certainly not in this debate. Greg? Yeah, he's a cafeteria colostomy. Uh, I have a joke for you, Dana. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Al Sharpton and Chris Matthews. Al Sharpton and Chris Matthews. Racist! <laughs> Uh, you know what? Race is a self-perpetuating machine. You write that at um, a time. Uh, it allowed it, the assumption of racism allowed the Tea Party to be persecuted by the IRS. When you are now upset by this persecution, then you are called racist even more. That's how these race mongers exist. Without without being accusing people of race, you are out of a job. Al Sharpton is out of a job. Chris Matthews is out of a job. He was dropped on his head as an adult. <laughs> if I have to leave you guys, can I, they're yelling at me to go to the next block. Oh, no, Kimberly, talk. Go ahead. You want to say something? Please say something. Say something. Happy to be here. No, no. Say. Oh, okay. What I have to say is that they're losing credibility in leaps and bounds. They're very defensive. They don't want to talk about the truth. So they name, call, and engage in this kind of bigotry, and it just it cheapens the dialogue. They should care about Americans, and they should care about uh, Americans being persecuted for their ideological beliefs. Okay.